As the insurrection spread through the sector, the state doubled its efforts against those who defied the prohibitive order. Those who dared joined the activist. Those who feared demonstrated in less direct ways by feeding on the cracks in conformity. They created networks in defiance, trading illegal and poor quality videos on black markets. They gathered in basements and cellars, huddled around TV screens, watching greedily. They took photographs of themselves, created albums, graphic novels, books, and animals of movement, which they smuggled from block to block, spreading rebel propaganda. Shop front for kids, like bakeries, butchers, and hospitals, masked private booths, and some would queue for hours and end to catch glimpses, snapshots from the old world. They grew confident in their defiance. The prohibition order. Dance and the act of dancing is strictly prohibited. Infringements of this will constitute a crime. Persons found guilty will be liable for imprisonment or worse. A person <coughs> is guilty of dancing. Using movement <coughs> as expression. In a participatory, social, ceremonial, erotic, or performance environment. Privately, publicly, as an individual or in groups, anyone caught dancing will be investigated by the enforcers. And you will be found guilty. We know this. Will you conform? Or will you rebel? Rebel is a suggestion of all art forms, especially movement. With this movement, we will nourish you into our environment. If you want a journey, there will be decisions, there will be choices. Thank you. 
methods. Land of integrated participation to equip the minds of today's people. So far we have had such as East London Dance, The Place, and Contact Theatre right here in Manchester. We've done it before in London and in Birmingham with great success. So the question still remains, will you conform or rebel? Thank you. for the project was getting people to submit illegal dances to a sort of online um, thing where they would be vetted. So that was part of what we did. So we used, we asked people to submit them. So that's part of it. And then, yeah, within the education project, we come in, we work with a local company. And not just young people as well, we want to work with older people as well, <coughs> um, which is something that we did in a project we did called The Bunker Thing. Because um, we want to show within the piece a kind of cross section of society as if it's a real living kind of world. So we want to work with, with different people from the sort of fields of the world. Brilliant. Does that answer your question? Yeah, it sounds fantastic. <laughs> Hi, I really, I really enjoyed it. That was fantastic. Um, and it's really mysterious when this guy gets up and starts <laughs> telling us all about your, your needs and everything. And I was just wondering. Um, do you, in this piece, where dance is forbidden and it's an act of insurrection to dance, do you get your audiences to dance with you and, and rebel with you? Well, at, at this moment, um, we performed the, the piece twice. <laughs> we performed the piece twice <laughs> in Birmingham and in, in London. Um, at this moment, we're going to the next phase of redevelopment we're looking at. So we are looking at ways um, of getting the audience to stand up and get involved, so to speak. Um, it wasn't in the first version, but uh, like I say, we are in the process of development. Yeah. And the whole, the, what we wanted to do today is give you a kind of feel of what we want to do when we come to venues. We want to create a site-specific piece inside our traditional theatre space. So the, the twice that we've done it, we've wrecked each venue beforehand, and which is what we did with here, found the places that we want to use. And, and use them, and um, so we use under the seats of the auditorium. Basically, depending on how your theatre is, yeah. um, depending on how the show um, will be, depending on the experience that the audience will have, basically. So we're very much a, a young company who are interested in um, changing like the actual norms of like, theatre in an theatre space. So basically, we'll come into your theatre and see the nooks and crannies and basically use them within our piece. Um, does that mean that you would be interested in doing this piece in non-theatre spaces as well? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Empty buildings. Yeah, yeah, we've got a piece um, that's in the bar cup, so any yeah. scary building, we, we can take it over and dance. We and love dance. Those <laughs> yeah. Good. Yeah.
Oh.